Okay guys, I want to show you something a little different. Uh, no, it's not my wooden floors. And no, it's actually not the AR either. Not this AR anyway. I want to show you, this is something you pretty much see. Uh, I got mine set up for, you know, mid-range type. A uh, little scope on there. And a uh, little foregrip uh, that, that doubles as a bipod. But uh, yeah, you can kind of see what I got myself set up for. But anyway... Uh, stuff that you usually see, you got the Magpul handguard, uh, got a P-Mag, window P-Mag, uh, Magpul uh, pistol grip, Magpul buttstock, and I got the Magpul uh, end plate with the sling attachment, right? And I'm like, you know what, I want to do something a little bit different, right? And me and my brother were talking about it, he, he has a rifle. Basically, our, we're brothers, and our rifles are pretty much brothers. Uh, and I'll get into that in a second. But anyway, we're like, oh, let's do something similar but different. You know, he wanted something look looked like similar to mine, but not quite the same. <clears throat> he wants his functional, but also, you know, people are like, what the heck? Look at, look at, look at this or look at that, you know. It's, it's SKS, most of his guns. But anyway, that's just the way it is. But anyway, we put this guy together. Or not we, but... Some of it, we just... Put them together and compared them, but uh, he dropped it off to uh, show here. So we have the Tapco AR. I've only seen two Tapco, uh, besides their commercials on YouTube, two Tapco ARs, and it was just like some parts here and there. Um, but, you know, figured, hey, that's something different. Tapco, I've redone my uh, SKS with Tapco. It was all, it was missing parts, it wasn't original anyway, so I decided to, uh, you know, make it a uh, tactical, just for some at the range, and I did my SKS with the Tapco, no issues with it, I like it, I'm happy with it, my uh, Ruger 1022, it's so, I sold it now, for a, uh, the M&P 1522, just for, uh, you know, taking the family out, do some shooting, and real cheap, you know, 22, be out there for hours, and then finish up with the AR, but I uh, get familiar with the gun, get the family familiar, you know, I want everybody to be able to, you know, be familiar with the platform. So we did this guy. And I'll show you this. They're not loaded and I'm not going to bother to check for you guys, but got the, uh, the uh, Tapco uh, handguard here. I put my own heat shield in there, or put a heat shield in there for him. That was kind of a, a two-man operation, which <laughs> why it was us, because it's kind of a pain in the behind. Uh, can do it by myself, but man, with that heat shield, it makes it a little harder. So anyway, this uh, handguard, it's about, it's as thick as a basic old uh, quad rail, but uh, these covers, it has covers to put in the front and the bottom, I don't have them on there, um, but makes it a bit thicker. If you had Gorilla Hands, this would be perfect, but this is basically for uh, like, a, like a quad rail thickness. A little thicker than your Mac pool, right? The... Uh, Pistol grip a little thicker than your your uh, Magpul uh, pistol grip, but you know it's not too big where you can't get a good grip on it, and leaves you more room for storage, right? The uh, the buttstock here got the uh, Tapco uh, what is it? recoil or, or butt pad. Um, not that you really need it, but hey, you know, want to put it on his, so here you go. Uh, the uh, the can't even think right now. The uh, butt stock, very similar to your basic uh, mil spec butt stock, but a little bit thicker. I'm thinking it's better material. It's thicker. It's supposed to be heat resistant polymer. Like I said, I haven't had any issues with them, so I think it's all right. But uh, it seems a little bit thicker uh, than your typical, but very much you know the same thing. I mean, really, unless you put them side by side, you can't tell. Got the uh, Tapco uh, end plate with the sling attachment as well. Tapco magazine. So basically, like I said, these guys are pretty much brothers. The uppers on both of them are the same. The uh, the foregrip bipod, the same. The uh, scopes, the same. Right. The uppers are, are stag arm uppers. The buffer tube uh, spring and uh, wait, they're all stag arm. The internals on the lower are the same. 
So what's different on these guys? The magazine, the lower, and uh, the furniture. But other than that, brothers look similar, but different at the same time. But yeah, I just thought I'd put that out there. I mean, thought it would be something different. I've only seen, uh, like again, two of these tap code uh, ARs on YouTube. I can't remember ever seeing one at the range, but you know, I'm like, well, hell, thinking about it, you know, we're like, well, hell, we don't see any uh, Tapco ARs. We see AKs when you go to the range. You know, somebody always got Tapco set up. AKs always a uh, Tapco uh, AK or you know Magpul AK, and like you know, those are decent rifles. I'm like, okay, they're gonna put it on there. That's a good way to go. I see them on SKSs, including mine. I mean, you know, tons of them. Uh, Tapco, no issues. Uh, the Ruger 1022, never had any issues with that sucker. So it's uh, affordable stuff, quality. I mean, you know, but again, functional, but looks different. Anyway, I just thought I'd make a video on that and see if you got, what you guys think about it. Oh, yes, let me show you one more thing. Yeah, set us back seven bucks each, but makes us that much more proud. Just like the flags we carry at the rallies back in the day. All right, guys. That's it for us. Me. Hope you like it. I'm out. You have a good one.